What's up, everybody? Val Nichols here coming at you live from beautiful Central Oregon. And you guys, I am fired up. I am lit up. And I cannot even tell you the type of day I've had, you guys. Like, so when you jump on, let me know how your day has gone. I want to hear all of the things. I want to hear how you're doing. I want to hear how your week is going. I want to hear what are you fired up and what are you passionate about right now? Because I love to hear from you guys. And it would just mean the world to me if you would comment below and let me know how you're doing. Because I love you guys. Like, I am, I feel so connected to you guys right now in this moment. And, you know, here's the thing. Like, um, I got... I was on a bunch of coaching calls today, and then I got to interview two amazing women for my summit that's coming up, which I'm going to share about, so stay tuned, because what's up, Nunu? Oh my gosh, beautiful lady. How are you doing, girl? How are you? How are all the things? I did this without my tripod, so I'm a little bit unstable there. There we go. So, you know, like, I, I did an interview for a powerful freaking summit that is coming up here that I'm going to share with you guys at the end of this live. So stay tuned because I'm going to go into it. But you know, I'm really feeling called to come on here and talk to you guys about really taking a stand, you know, taking a stand and trusting that you're being led and trusting that you're being guided. Because you know, if you're someone like me, I am a woman who's really driven and I can really get caught up in that hustle and in that like striving and in the like producing and doing all these things. Oh, thank you so much, Lulu. Yes, yes. I had to like, I had to shed some stuff recently. Like I'm feeling this, I'm in this energy in this space where like letting go of certain things and like trusting that there's bigger, better, more powerful things. Like, I don't know if you guys believe this, but I was just, I was literally just saying this on a Zoom call. I was on a Zoom call with my, my lead pastor. For those of you who don't know, I'm in a ministry team. Um, I lead a church right now and we're, we're going through some changes just like everybody else in the world. And we were literally just talking about how, I truly believe that, you know, Jesus is constantly doing this thing where he's saying like, yeah, you're playing small. You're holding on to this thing. You're holding on to this thing that's small or outdated or, you know, you're not taking a stand for something you believe in. And what he's saying is to like, trust me, let go. And I'm going to give you something so much greater. I'm going to give you something so much bigger. And I truly believe that a lot of times that really starts with the knowing and the trust and, you know, like trusting yourself and trusting that the universe that God, you know, like is, is really guiding you in that and trusting the fact that, you know, if you take a stand for what you believe in, if you take a stand, then every single thing in your life will fall into place from that. And when you can make a decision because you're so firm in knowing who you are and what you stand for, right? When you know so firmly who you are and what you stand for, you will absolutely 100% be able to make your decision from that higher place. When you're able to know, like right now, you know, guys, I'm going through this, this process of change in my own life and in my business. And a lot of things are changing because like I've hit a level and I say this not to impress you. I say this to impress on you the possibilities that are, that are available to you. Right. So, um, you know, my business has gotten to such a huge level of success right now that like, it's, it's literally mind blowing, you know, a little, um, a little, a girl from Oregon who lives in the middle of Oregon, like being able to create some of these, these, um, movements, you know, and it wasn't just me. This is also goes to every single mentor I've had in my life. This goes to, you know, God guiding me. This goes to knowing my purpose. This goes for like taking a stand for what I believe in and being unapologetic about that. But, you know, like we've hit a level of success where my team and I are looking at like, where do we go from here? What is the next level? And like fully taking a stand for that and standing firm and knowing where that is, standing firm and knowing what that next level looks like for us and, and being unapologetic about that, you know, making our decisions from the place of not where we are right now, but making our decisions from that place and that power of the next level. Does that make sense for you guys? So Nunu says a prayer call would be amazing. Ah, oh, yes, 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 girl. I get a lot of those throughout the week. Let me tell you, let me tell you. Because, um, you know, not only am I in my business, I'm working on my, in my business, but we also, um, I'm a part of a leadership team. I'm a part of a, a team where we oversee a multi, multi, 
site campus. We see multi-site campuses and we're like closer than ever before. You guys, like I never knew I loved working on teams as much as I love working on this team and with the team that I have now in my business. Ugh. It's mind blowing. So um, Nunu says, I totally agree. Hey, Sharice. Hello. Hello. Oh my gosh, you guys, Facebook is actually telling me who's jumping on, I think. So hello, Nunu. Hello, Debbie. Hey, Bruce. What's up, Mr. Crockett? Hey, Becky. Hello, hello, my love. What's up, Cherise? Oh my gosh, I love you guys so much. I love you, love you, love you. So my point in sharing this is, you know, like something that has just really come to surface for me during this time. Something that has been revealed to me during this time more than ever before, which I started out this live telling you guys about some powerful interviews I did today with some women who are so incredible. You guys like incredible women, powerhouse entrepreneurs who are creating huge things in the world that I'm going to share with you guys. So stick like keep listening because I'm going to share the information about that. But, um, you know, like right now, the thing that is just like coming to surface the most in my life in, you know, like with things moving and developing and like, you know, everything that's happening in the world right now is that we're being called forward. We are being called forward to take a stand. What's happening throughout the last, you know, six months here in the world with with coronavirus and movements happening and Black Lives Matter and, you know, POC and all of these things is that right now, like we are being called to, to take a stand. And I think that, you know, I'm going to be very general when I say this, this might not be true to everybody, but I really truly believe that especially women, sometimes we're called, we are told by society and I'm not making anybody wrong or saying it's your parents fault or anything. Like I'm just saying in a very general way that, you know, as women, a lot of times I think we're, we're, we're like, we get this impression that we have to play small and be quiet and we forget to use our voice, which is so funny that I have this huge blue necklace on right now, but like, you know, using the power of our voice, speaking our truth, because we don't want to come across as like, you know, a, or, you know, that word, a B word. And we don't want to come across as like pushy, or we don't want to come across as like, um, you know, all of those things. And the thing that I want to share with you guys is like, it's not an either or conversation. Like you can't either be a powerful woman or stand in your truth or take a stand or create a business you love or have a family that you adore or have relationships that support you. It's an and conversation, right? Like it's an and conversation. We can be powerful and we can be kind. We can take a stand and we can respect other people's point of views. We can take a stand for what we believe in and we can also have friendships with people who don't agree with us. As a matter of fact, like through the past like six months to a year, it's been like my my purpose to like bring people into my business and bring people into my sphere of influence who very much disagree and think differently than I do because I don't always see things in the same light as someone else is going to see it. I'm a very um, outspoken, outgoing uh, person who kind of is like very heartfelt and I, I like am very like visionary and can jump from thing to thing. I purposely have people in my business who go, thou, slow down. Let's complete what we started here. Let's stay on track. And you guys, you know, you may or may not know, but my husband is like the analytical mechanical engineer who keeps me grounded in life, right? So like celebrating the differences and, you know, we get to create this, this and conversation where in the world in a whole, like we get to create this conversation where it's, it's about all of it right? Like we don't have to like decompartmentalize our life and be like show up in one space this way and another way, you know, this way. And like we get to have this and conversation where we can be a spiritual woman who loves God and be a powerhouse entrepreneur. Can I get an amen for all the God lovers out there? Like we can be both. We get to create an and conversation about this, right? Like I'm a preacher and a business owner and a wife and a this, like I get to do this. We get to be all encompassing. And it's like, what do you want to take a stand for during this time? Like, I want to leave you guys with this, like right now in this moment, there's something 
Oh, Elaine. Hello, hello, my love. Oh, my goodness. Elaine says, amen. Cherie says, amen. Yes, girls. Yes. So, you know, in this moment, and for each one of you, there is no right or wrong answer. There's no right or wrong answer. This is individualized to you, who you are right now in this moment. Because each and every single one of us are in a different place, a different phase, a different, you know, a different place in our lives. But right now in this moment, if there's one thing that's standing in the gap for you, what is that thing? Without overthinking it. Without overthinking it. Pet! Aloha, my love. Aloha, my love. Oh my gosh, I would tell you to send some sunshine, but right now it's about 100 degrees in Bend or in Redmond. So um, yeah, it's, it's hot. Well, I think it changed a little bit, but it's still really hot here right now. But you know, like, what is that one thing for you that is standing in the way between where you want to be or where you are currently and where you want to be, your next level version? You know, maybe that's you want to create wealth whatever that means to you. For some of you, maybe that means hitting five-figure months. For some of you, it's it's to hit six, thousand, or six figures. For some of you, it's to hit seven. For you, some of you, that means like, I want wealth in the way that I have loving, supportive relationships in my life. I want to create wealth. I want to create wealth where I have the confidence to know who I am, to step forward in the moment, to, you know, really stand in my power and be that woman who says, yes, I'm a powerful woman. I can create the business I want. I can create the relationships I crave. I can create this community of people around me and I can still be kind. I can still have people in my sphere of influence who don't agree with me, who we don't see eye to eye, and we can still be, you know, co-creating a world and a community and relationship. What does that look like for you? What is that thing for you? You know, if there's, if there's one thing that you see standing in the way, and for you, this could be like, I don't believe in my worth. I don't believe that I'm worthy enough to have the things I truly desire. Maybe for you, that's like you're you're holding back and you're standing back and you're playing small because you're afraid to even like vocalize. You're afraid to even like talk about the things you truly desire. And you guys, this is something that came up for me the other day because I remember when I first rebranded my company and I went from my old coaching business, which was um, Heart Creation Coaching to what is known now as Val Nichols coaching. Like, you know, it's, it's an incorporation. And when I first wanted to quit my corporate job and go all in in my coaching business, it took me two and a half months, two and a half months to even tell my husband, who's my best friend and closest confidant, because I was so afraid to say it. I was so afraid to say it because then it would be real. And then I would have to take action. Right. I was so afraid to tell him what my deepest desire was. And so maybe that is for you. What's up, Drea? Hey, girl. Hey. So, you know, here's the thing. Like, what is the thing that's standing in the way for you? What is the thing that's standing in the way of you really stepping fully into your worth and your your wealth, whatever that looks like for you? Like, what is that thing that's in the way for you? Because that could be a lack of belief in yourself. That could be a lack of belief that you're worthy. That could be, you know, maybe you need to get resources. And, you know, like, sorry, not sorry, you're not broken. I am not the coach that's ever going to tell you you're broken and use those types of sales strategies. You're not broken. You have every single thing within you or in your higher power. You have every single thing within you and will be provided if you ask. You're not broken. However, there's things that we get to improve on. There's something standing in the gap for you. And I just want to help through this conversation shine light on that so that you know what your next action step is to do because we're in such a great time right now, you guys. Yes, there is there is a pandemic going on. There are things happening in this in this nation that are very confusing, that are bringing up trauma, that are bringing up things within us that are, you know, that are like bringing up with what is supposed to be brought up within you, right? So that we can heal it. And I don't want to like downplay any of that that's happening. But you know, right now in the world, we have this amazing opportunity that we get to take a stand. We get to trust that we are being guided And we get to like really step into the next level version of us, whatever that is for you. Elaine says, I do not like the word broken either. Yes, girl. That's because we're aligned. 
Like we are soul sisters, I swear. So yes, like broken, we're not broken. I, I do, I'm never going to speak to someone as if they are broken because I don't believe, well, in a sense, we're all broken. We're all sinners. We're all here to, you know, like create something like we're all here to, to heal something or to, you know, do the work we're called to do. Right. Like, but I'm like, it just drives me crazy when I see sales tactics out there, people like speaking into brokenness because like we're all powerful, right? We are all powerful and we all get to take a stand for our truth and you know what we're here on the earth and we're called to do. And I just want to shine light through this conversation. I just want to pop in here and, and share this with you guys that, you know, there's, there's, there may be something that's standing in between where you're at right now and creating the success you truly desire, the life of your dreams, the freedom, the wealth, and the worth that you truly desire. And with that, I want to share with you guys something that I've been talking about for a while, but I haven't come out and shared it, is that, you know, um, for those of you who have ever been through the program, you know about this, but I have a signature program that's called The Woman of Wealth and Worth, and it is so powerful. It's a money mindset and worthiness um, program that I have that is just, it's so powerful. Every single woman who's gone through it has had huge results. They have, um, you know, just done like been able to break through their old money stories, break through old patterns that have kept them stuck. And I've been so inspired by this program that I wanted to, over the past couple months, especially, I've realized like my dog is freaking out in the background because my husband just pulled up just to let you guys know. I'm not like anything crazy is going on. It's my dog in the background. So with the woman of wealth and worth, I've really been called to take a stand and step forward over the past couple months. I've really been called to go deeper. You know, like I think a lot of us have been doing that this time. We've been going a little bit deeper in what do we believe and what do we, how do we really like stand in the world right now? And I've been called to go deeper and I realize, you know, wealth and worthiness is like, it means something different to everybody. And in my brand, I always say like, there's no cookie cutter version for what you want to create, right? Like every single one of my clients I work with are so vastly different. And with each one of them, we get to create something totally different. And that's what I love about what I do. Like I get so bored with details and the same and all of that. Um, so yeah, like I, um, oh, bye, Pat. I saw, just saw your message. I, bye, Pat. I'm going to see you next weekend. <gasps> Yay! Oh my gosh, Drea. That is so amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. That's awesome. So, um, bye, Pat. I love you. Aloha, my sister. My soul sister. So, you know, in this, in this time, like I've been called to step forward and to take a stand in a bigger way and to like really, you know, dive into those things that like, that I'm about as a human being, as a, a woman in business, as all these things, like I've been called forward to take a stand even deeper, even like richer to really dive into that even more. And so from that was birthed a movement from that was birthed Bobby, Joe Slager. Oh my goodness. Girlfriend. How are you doing? Girl. Hi. Hello from, from Oregon here up in Canada. eh? <laughs> So, you know, here's the thing, like from that, we, we really like, oh, thank you, Bobby. I love you so much. Oh my goodness. So from that, like we've created a movement. We've created a movement. We've taken the woman in worth, the woman of wealth and worth from being a program that I offer. This is one of my signature programs that is so powerful. And I said, you know what? We're going to take this a little bit deeper. I want this not just to be a program that we do, that I run several times a year, but I want this to be a conversation. I want this to be a movement where we're stepping out and we're bigger and we're bolder and we're doing something. We're creating something even bigger in the world. So guys, I've been in this creation energy for a while. I've been in this like birthing, like literally, you guys know how it is if you're, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're creative, like there's like this birthing feeling where you kind of like nest for a little bit and you're creating something. So that has finally come to fruition and it's finally to the point where we're able to announce it. But we are going to be having 
oh my gosh, you guys, I'm, I can't even believe this is happening. Like, have you guys ever been in that space where like you're working on something for so long behind the scenes and then like you're this close to it happening and you're like, I cannot believe this is so real because you guys, with the conversations I've been having over the past couple weeks with the women who've been a part of this, like I'm, I'm, I'm mind blown. I am mind blown by what we've created. And guys, I just got off two interviews today where I'm like, Oh my gosh, I cannot believe this is real. I cannot even believe this is real. Like this is happening and I'm just so excited to unleash it to you guys. So we've taken the Woman of Wealth and Worth program and we've created a movement. We've created something that is going to change your life. And you know, it doesn't matter what your background is. It doesn't matter where you're currently at. This is all about like, where are we going? What are we taking a stand for? Where are we going to get you? Because you know what? What's happened has happened. You are not your past. Your past does not define you. I'm interested in having the conversation of who are you and where are you going to go? And I'm not talking about are you a wife, a daughter, a coach, whatever it is. Like I want to know the nitty gritty like who are you at the core level? Who are you? And first I had to ask myself this conversation. Who are you? And I can tell you very firmly and know this without a doubt that like I am a powerful, courageous, abundant woman. I am here in this world to create a conversation that you're not broken. I'm here to start the conversation and contribute to the fact that it doesn't matter where you're at or what your Mm -hmm. desire Mm -hmm. is. It doesn't matter, you know, like I don't care what your beliefs are. I don't care what your, you know, like whatever it is. I want to know who you are as a person and I want to know how are we going to get you there? What action are we going to take? And I want to give you the strong, the, I want to inspire you. I want to motivate you. And then I want to give you the tools and the strategy to get there because I don't know about you. I've been to tons of raw, raw, pump you up, you know, unleash the power within, um, the zone Mm -hmm. event, all Mm -hmm. of these things that get me super pumped. And then what do you do from there? So, oh my gosh, you guys, this is going to change your life. This has like been life changing for me. This has been life changing for me, but I want to announce that I am bringing to you guys collectively. This is not just me. There are so many powerful, amazing women who have contributed to this as well. We are going to be unleashing on Monday, July 6th. Mark your calendars right now. (laughs) I'm going to stand in that. Like, mark your calendars now. On Monday, July 6th, we are unveiling the Woman of Wealth and Worth Summit. Guys, I have brought together an entire panel of women who are killing it. You guys, these are next level women. These are women who are up there like creating multiple six figure, multiple seven figure businesses. And they're not just working. They're not just doing a job. They're creating a movement. And I've brought all of them together in one summit. You are going to have one interview released each day. It is going to be powerful. And you guys, I can't tell you how many times in the past couple of weeks interviewing these women, I have just cried. And my heart has been just burst open. I've been so full of joy. I have literally like, I feel like my entire being and who I am has changed in a powerful way. So I want to share this with you guys. This is a free summit that we're offering and we're doing it because we want to have the conversation of who are you? How are you going to get to that next level? And we want to help you create the wealth and the worth that you truly desire. And that is different for everybody. You guys like... Even the the types of women I brought on, you know, we have women who are very much into transformational healing and shamanism and yoga, and we have Christian women and we have, you know, powerhouse women who are out there speaking, you know, and who've completely shifted their businesses during this time, you know, powerhouse women who are on like world tours and women who are creating, you know, brand new industries right now during this time. Like one of the women shared with me, and I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to ruin the excitement, but like this brand new platform that she has put together, that's going to be like, I mean, I was mind blown. I was like, you better send me the information right now after this interview, because I want in, I want in. Right. She's changing a platform that is going to change the online industry. Like I talked to a woman today all the way on the other side of the world in Brooklyn, New York. And I literally felt like I met. I said this to her. I said, you're my yin to my yang. Like we are so our 
our beliefs are so much the same. And our background was, I mean, like when she was sharing her story, I was like, <gasps> we're the same. We are the same. And I, I wouldn't have known this, like looking at her Facebook page and looking at mine, like I'm all about pink and sparkly and scriptures and all these. And she's not like, it's totally different, but we are like the same. Right. And so this, this summit is going to be so powerful. And I, I literally like, I'm having this like hazy moment. Like, is this real life? Like, is this real life? This is really happening. So I'm going to put the link below. Um, I'm going to put the link below so you guys can sign up. You're just going to click on it. You'll go to a page. You put your name, your email, phone number is optional. Um, and then you click, yes, I'm in and you're in. I'm going to send you straight to your inbox, all the information. Um, it's going to start on Monday, July 6th. And you'll get, you know, you'll get all the information in your inbox. We're going to have a, um, a powerful community as well, mm -hmm. specific for this. So obviously you guys are on Facebook, so you can join in. We're going to have a, a Facebook community that's going to be specifically for these women. So you can jump in in that right away. The speakers are also going to be in there. So you're going to actually have these powerhouse women in there, in the group with you interacting like they, they're all so committed. They are all so committed to this. So you guys, we have powerhouse women. Um, I'm going to be talking more about this over the next couple days. We start on Monday, July 6th. I am just like so excited. Oh my gosh. You guys, the energy of this summit feels different than anything I've ever done. And I, I believe it's because there's an unleashing of the next level. And I want to, I want you to be next. I want you to be next. Drea's in. Yes, girl. Oh my gosh. You are going to get so much out of this, Drea. Like, you're going to get so much out of this. I know it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be amazing. Um, I'll put the link in below. I didn't copy it to my, my post yet, but let me jump in actually, before we jump off, I'll jump in on my laptop while we're talking, but, um, it's going to be so powerful. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to drop the link in because my, apparently my laptop is dead at this point. <laughs> I've been on zoom calls all day, but I love you guys so much. I'm going to put the link below Elaine. You're going to love it, girl. What I know about you, you're going to love it because there's very specific, amazing things. Bernie is in. Yes, girl. Yes, you guys. Ugh. I wish I could bottle up all the, all the beautiful conversations. Well, I do get to bottle it up. What am I talking about? That's what this summit is because you guys are going to literally be mind blown. Like, ugh, these women are next level and they're from every single industry. Like, and I still have more interviews to come. Like, you guys will have it all right there. But over the next couple of days, I have more to come. So I'm going to drop the link in here. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to join the Woman of Wealth and Worth. Thank you guys for watching. You have just like, oh, I love you guys so, so much. I love you too, Elaine. Oh my gosh, you guys are amazing. I love you. I'm going to drop the link in below. Watch out for that. Um, I'll see you guys on the inside. Mwah. Bye.